Uh, hello. So, I got a request by an old friend I used to work with when I still worked at the theater, um, Eric. He wanted me to draw a dragon, and honestly, I don't like dragons. I don't like drawing dragons. I don't feel like I'm really good at drawing dragons. Um, there's just so many different kinds of dragons. There's, like, like those Chinese kind of, like, like the Asian, East Asian kind of dragon where they're, like, long and skinny and serpent-like. And you got, like, the Middle Ages, like, the medieval time European dragons are, like, big and fat and stuff. And I also feel like there's, like, there's, like, there's so many different kinds. I just, I'm not really all into that stuff. But I gave my best attempt. Um, I feel like I could have done better with it, but, yeah. I kind of rushed it. I actually did this really, really, really quickly. I think actually drawing the dragon only took me like 10 minutes. And then I just kind of goofed around for like another 20 minutes. And then I came back like a day later and uh, add colors and stuff to it. So all together maybe, maybe, maybe it took me like 40 minutes or something. Um, but yeah. I guess it was fun to do. It looks interesting. I gave it weird fingers instead of like claws. <laughs> I thought it looked cool that way. Um, but I, when I said that I was gonna draw this, I got some memories about uh, working in a theater that I remember, and I thought I could uh, mention them because, like, man. The theater was like my favorite job I ever did, and the only reason I left was because I had to go to college, but I eventually wound up transferring back to a community college back home, so it didn't really matter, but the theater was like so cool, like it was super easy, the only thing I didn't like doing was like talking to people and like telling them which theater and tearing their tickets and stuff. But mainly my job was just, like, cleaning. And then, like, I got to hang out with, um, one of the really cool managers, and he was, like, I just got to hang out, like, upstairs and clean the projectors with him a lot of the time, so that was really cool. Like, it's crazy. Like, people think, like, projectors up there, like, actually use film reels and stuff, but, like, it's all digital now. And, like, they had the movies ahead of time, like, like, maybe a month or something ahead of time. And, like, you can just stick a USB inside that thing and just take all the movies off of it. And, like, you could basically just steal the movies like that. Not saying I ever did that, but, like, it was crazy. Um, but, like, it was so cool because I got to see all the movies early. And I got to do it for free, which is a big thing. And I got, I actually got a whole bunch of, like, cardboard cutouts, like, in my room right now. And posters that uh, <laughs> I got from working there and I think it was really cool it's like um, I got I never actually saw the movie Zootopia but I got some cardboard cutouts I got the uh, cheetah guy and I got the polar bear holding a cup of coffee and some little rat dude never watched the movie so I don't know who they are I'm guessing the uh, cheetah dude is like comedy relief or something and then uh, the polar bear and the little dude he's holding are like actually important I don't know but um I got uh what was the poster I got the angry birds like really nice theatrical poster I actually just have it rolled up because like I didn't like the movie <laughs> I, I saw it with a friend and I know I'm not the audience it was aimed for but I still didn't really like it that much. It was interesting, to say the least. Uh, I never really liked the Angry Birds games, though. So, not really big into uh, games like that. But I am big into Dark Souls. Which, now I think about it, I should have been a Dark Souls dragon. I haven't really done anything. I haven't really played any Dark Souls games in a while, actually. The newest thing I saw from Dark Souls was like one of my friends and one of my friends uh, playing Dark Souls on his YouTube channel 
Uh, his name's Antonio. I might uh, put a link or something. He's really cool. Really like his content. He's really funny and stuff. But like, <laughs> man, I really need to get back into Dark Souls. And I don't know if this looks like a Dark Souls dragon or not. It um has some really cool ram horns. Now that I'm looking at it, and the wings. I don't really like the wings. They're kind of odd. I don't know. He certainly could not fly with those wings. That's for certain. That's for sure. Um, I feel like I feel like he's a little thick with like three C's. Like looking at his backside, the boy's all hunched over. Maybe he's trying to take a poo. Y'all know. Um, but yeah, right now. What I'm doing is this is a day later and I came back and I decided I wanted to add some color or like some kind of graphic purport something graphic to it so I put a red cloud in a really light toned whatever cloud so it's like really it's kind of pinkish but I thought it would make the dragon pop out more and then later on I go and put a blue behind the cloud to make that even pop does it work? I don't know. I like it. So that's all that counts, I guess. Uh, and before I forget, I guess I should uh, give a shout out to uh, Ashley, my cousin. She commented on one of my videos a long time ago to give her a shout out. Um, so hey, cuz. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's about all I gotta say. What's up with y'all? What's going good, guys? Uh, put some comments or something down there. Um, oh, right here. I'm putting some, uh, like, hatch marks. I don't know why, but I do these... I do these two hatchings. Like, in this, like, turn it. You know what I mean? Like, I do two lines, and then I do another two lines, but they're, like... Oh, not almost perpendicular to each other. They're never parallel. I don't, I don't like. It would look weird to me. Like I want them to like hit each other. And now I think about it, maybe it's something to do with tangents. Does that make any sense? I'm kind of confusing myself now that I talk myself through this. <laughs> I never really think about what I'm drawing. Or, well, I think I talked about that in one other video, about drawing and doodling, like what's the difference, but doodling is like when you don't have an idea, but drawing is like you had an idea, so you're just like trying to put it on the paper, and I definitely had an idea, I wanted to draw this dragon, <sighs> but after I drew the dragon, I didn't know what to do, so I feel like at the end of it, I was just doodling. So does that make it a doodle drawing, a drawing doodle, a droodle, a droodle? Sounds like toaster strudel. Um, yeah, I don't know, but that's that's about it. So uh, thanks for watching. Bye. silent in dismay it won't break this feeling down if i conquer this my way i devour i surround if it hurts you just a little then it heals you when it's done disappointment is the anchor resolution